Good morning. From the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, Secure in Jesus' Hands, June 18th. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. John 10 verses 27 and 28 My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. When Satan heard the word, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, he knew that men and women would be given power to resist his temptations. He realized that his claim to the position of prince of the newly created world was to be contested, that one would come whose work would be fatal to his evil purposes, and he and his angels would be forever defeated. His assurance of certain power, his sense of security, was gone. Adam and Eve had yielded to his temptations, and their posterity would feel the strength of his assaults. But they would not be left without a helper. The Son of God was to come to the world to be tempted in our behalf, and in our behalf to overcome. There is enmity between fallen human beings and Satan only as they place themselves on God's side and yield obedience to the law of Jehovah. This brings to them power to withstand Satan's attacks. It is through Christ's sacrifice that they are enabled to obey. The Son of God, bearing human nature and tempted on all points as we are tempted, met and resisted the assaults of the enemy. And in his strength, human beings can gain the victory, meeting the tempter, yet not overcome by his artifice and his presumptuous presentations. By accepting Christ as a personal Savior, men and women can stand firm against the temptations of the enemy. Human beings may have eternal life if they will accept the principles of heaven and allow Christ to bring the heart and mind into obedience to the law of Jehovah. Christ saw the meaning of Satan's wiles, and till the end of his test and trial, he stood firm in his resistance, refusing to swerve from allegiance to God. The way in which Satan tempted Christ, he is today tempting every soul. He seeks to hold every person under his reasoning. The Savior warns us against entering into controversy with him or his agencies. We are not to meet them except on the Bible ground it is written. The less that we have to do with the arguments of those who are opposed opposed to God, the firmer will be our foundation. We are to repeat as seldom as possible the sentiments of Satan's forming. Let every tempted soul keep looking at the principles that are holy from above, remembering the promise, I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Praise God for this message. Thank you for listening. Shalom.